Well, attention all you working mothers out there, there is indeed a way to have it all. Our next guest, Donna Hamilton, is the breadwinner in her family. She's active in her community. She has three children under the age of six, including twins. And on top of all of that, she works at Microsoft as the senior communications manager for the office of the CIO. Donna has recently accepted a rare award from Bill Gates himself, and she's here with us this morning to tell us all about her keys to success. Donna, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks so much for inviting me. All right. So when you went to college, what were your aspirations? What did you study? I studied public relations. I have a bachelor's degree in PR um, from a school in New Jersey, and I thought I always wanted to work in PR. Mm -hmm. However, um, I started actually programming computers in about seventh grade. So I also had a technical aptitude ah. as well, and I actually started my career as a technical recruiter, mm -hmm. and then in 98 was recruited by Microsoft. All right, so you wind up as the senior communications manager at Microsoft. Yeah. Talk to me about that evolution. Sure. So I started as a technical recruiter yeah. in 98, and then I became a product manager working on Microsoft's uh, recruiting systems. Um, from there, I became a technical trainer, so training some of our users on system applications. And in that job, I saw a niche. I, okay. I remember saying to my VP via an email, hey, there's a, a piece of the puzzle missing here. I think you're lacking a central communications team. And he agreed with me. And not only did he put the position in place, but he offered me the job as well. And you're like, hey, I just created my own job at Microsoft. <laughs> I did. I created my own job. And then from that job, I was offered the job that I have today, which is the communications manager for our CIO, Tony Scott. Here's the thing that I struggle with is trying to figure out what my passion is, how do I not only harness that passion, but utilize it in a way that's positive for both me and my family. Did you ever go through any of those struggles trying to figure out exactly how you were going to do it all? Absolutely. Uh, I still go through it today. I do too, yeah. <laughs> um, but I think that you know, through strong organizational skills, constant reprioritization, and checking, doing sanity checking with my spouse is also um, really important to make sure that every day I wake up saying I'm lucky I get to go to work today, and at the end of the night I can go to rest thinking I've done what's right for me, right for my family, and right for my company. Did you ever have those times you said, you know what, I'm just going to stay home with the kids. F forget this. I, I can't do both. And I think that's a struggle that I know a lot of our viewers go through as well, especially, you know, if it's your first child. Yeah. You feel like, how am I going to do all of this? For, for us, when, when I talked to my husband about it, we had agreed that Jim works relatively part-time hours mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now and is the primary caregiver when they're little. And then when my oldest turns 13, my goal is to work part-time for a while and stay home with her then. That's wonderful. So during this time, how does all of that personal figure into how you are as a professional? And how has Microsoft been in terms of support of that? Microsoft's been very supportive. When I started in 98, I was single. Okay. I met my husband in 2000. 2001, we were engaged. 2002, we were married. And even before our first wedding anniversary, my daughter was born. Oh, boy. And then she was two and a half when my twins were born. So Microsoft has supported me through being my single life, through getting married and having my children, and even supports me today through the wonderful benefits programs that they offer. They also have some diversity initiatives that they have in-house, such as women at Microsoft and women in IT to support me as well. You know, I think this is one of the challenges that I face, and maybe a lot of viewers out there face it as well. How do you balance, Donna, the personal and the professional? It's, it's a tough balance, I will say that. It, it, requires constant reprioritization and amazing organizational skills. I also time box things. So in every job, there's going to be times where you have to really spend a lot of time in the office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm comfortable doing that, but I often time box it and say, okay, I'm willing to do this for two months' time, and then I need to reshift my priorities and focus again on my family. How supportive is your husband in all He's of this? He's fantastic. I think the key to my success is really having a strong relationship and a strong partner in my husband, Jim. So what would your message be to other uh, women out there, other working women out there? I would say you can have it all. Go big or go home. I agree. Life's too short to sit on the couch. Go after all the things that you want in life and be an optimist in everything that you do. Count your blessings and go after what you want in life. Donna Hamilton, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. And coming up next on The Balancing Act, how to shadowproof your marriage. Stay tuned.